course I hate these people. And let's all hate these people, because maybe hate is what we need if we're going to get something done. And it's more than anger, it's hatred. And I want society to hate them. Why do you bring that question up now? It's an interesting time to bring it up. Uh, you have people on both sides of that. They admitted their guilt. If you look at Linda Fairstein and if you look at some of the prosecutors, uh, they think that the city should never have settled that case. Hillary Clinton and her campaign of 2008 started in the Bertha Conference. I finished it. So Maxine Waters is leading. Maxine, she's a real beauty. Maxine, a seriously low IQ person. And she has two other kids, two years old and six years old. And when she actually hung up the phone, she looked at me and said, he didn't even know his name. I did hear him say, I'm, I'm sure he knew what he was signing up for. Very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. To those I say the following. What do you have to lose by trying something new like Trump? What the hell do you have to lose? campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also saying that say the president... such a racist There question. are some people... The least racist person there is anywhere in the world when con men, who I've known all, you know, almost all my business life, because I had to deal with him, unfortunately, in New York, but I got along with him, Al Sharpton. Uh, now he's a racist. I rise with a sense the righteous indignation. I know racism when I see it. What the hell do you have to lose? National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them.